Good day, everybody. We have here with us a business litigation attorney, George Van Orr. George, when people have uh, issues, when people are owed money, either personally or in the business, be it with a vendor, a contractor, or partner, or what have you, what are the three ways you can settle a dispute? So you can settle a dispute either out of court or in court, okay? okay? So if you called me up and you said, George, you know, I started this company, this guy owes me, you know, 20 grand. I would say to you, look, you have two options. You have the option of calling him up and working out a deal with him, in which mm -hmm. case that if you agree on something, I would recommend you document it into some sort of an agreement, which is a settlement agreement. Right. Or if you've tried that and that hasn't worked or you don't want to try that for whatever reason, you can bring an action in court, right? That action would be based on some agreement you have with him. You know, we had a written agreement. He was supposed to pay me. He didn't pay me. So you bring a complaint and you start a litigation process, either in state or federal court, depending on the amount of the dispute and some of the other factors. Right. Then you can either go through the full on process of the litigation through trial and eventually get a judgment. Right. And which then, takes yeah, time. Which takes time. Or you can participate in some alternative method for dispute resolution. And, and often okay. courts require people to go mm -hmm. to mediation. Mm -hmm. Mediation typically is non binding, confidential process where you go in front of a mediator and try to work things out. Most often, competent mediators are former judges or other experienced commercial litigators with a lot of years of experience. So if you go in front of a former judge, like a federal court judge, for example, that's now a mediator, he can give you a pretty good sense of how a federal court judge or a state court judge would see your case, where the okay. strengths and weaknesses are. And then the judge or this mediator tries to come up with a structure for people to resolve their cases, ultimately culminating in a settlement agreement. Mm -hmm. And a settlement agreement is a contract. And then there's also another medium, which is separate from the court system, which is arbitration. Okay. Arbitration can be binding, mm -hmm. um, but arbitration, whether you can arbitrate or can't arbitrate, depends on what your agreement is. If you have an agreement and you have a written agreement to arbitrate any disputes, then you can go straight to arbitration. And Otherwise, the parties pay for this arbitrator, correct? Oh yeah, you, you have to pay uh, mm -hmm. big fees for, for the arbitration, especially right. if you're in departments like AAA or whatever. So mm -hmm. um, otherwise, you know, if you don't have an agreement, you can always reach an agreement. So we have a freedom of contract in this country. So mm -hmm. if you and me decide that we want to arbitrate something, we can go and arbitrate it. 